talk about DevOps, there is no single definition. If you ask 10 people, they would give you 10 different definitions. In that kind of a context, how do you evaluate the maturity of DevOps implementations in an enterprise? That's very, very challenging. There are wide variety of DevOps tools. And how do you really say what level of maturity a specific enterprise is at? And that's where I found a few very, very interesting metrics that were part of a Google Cloud State of DevOps report. Google Cloud has this Dora team, DevOps research and development team, which publishes a State of DevOps report almost every year. And there are four metrics which they suggested, which can be used to evaluate the maturity of the DevOps implementation in your specific enterprise. Now, what are those four metrics? Let's quickly look at them. The first metric is change lead time. What is the time gap between a commit and the time the change goes to production? So from the time developer does a commit into version control, developer makes the code change. From that time to how much time is it before your application is going live to production, right? So that's called the change lead time. Ideally, the change lead time should be as small as possible. You should have a lot of automation in place for deployments, for testing, so that when some change is ready from development, you'd be able to quickly test it and take it live. So that's one metric, change lead time. The second metric which is important is deployment frequency. This is not the deployments to dev or QA. This is the deployment frequency to production. How many releases are you making to production? If you look at most of the mature DevOps organizations, they might even be making multiple releases every hour. So that's another metric which can be used to evaluate your DevOps maturity. How many releases are you making to production every day? The third metric, which is very, very important, is MTTR, mean time to recover. One of the most important things that we focus in DevOps is observability. Whenever there's a problem, you'd want to have enough data, logs, tracing, metrics that can help you to debug the problem fast. So MTTR or mean time to recovery focuses on that aspect. How much time do you need to fix a very, very important bug in production? That's what mean time to recovery focuses on. How fast? can you recover from production errors? The fourth and also another very important metric is change fail percentage. How many of the releases you are making to production are successful? You Ideally, you would want it to be at 100%, but that's almost impossible to achieve. So you'd want the percentage of successful releases to be pretty high as well. So there you go. Those are the four metrics you can use to evaluate how mature your enterprise is at DevOps. The first one is change lead time. The second one is deployment frequency. The third one is MTTR, which is mean time to failure. And the amount of successful deployments, the percentage of deployments which are successful that are going into production. Those are the four metrics you can use to evaluate the DevOps maturity in your organization. I'm sure you're having an interesting time and I'll see you again.